Ne Colado Lainez is a U.S.-based Salvadoran immigrant and the author of 12 children's books with a unique perspective. He's writing about children in the immigration system and their interactions with the immigration service. The most impressive element of Colado Lainez's storytelling is that he's able to craft a hopeful end to the story without making any false promises to the reader. He's won dozens of awards and honors for his children's books. And uh, we are thankful that he's able to join us today. Renee, Hello. how are you? Thank happy. you for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah, me too. I am very happy to be here. So, Renee, tell me a little bit about your journey to the United States. You were born in El Salvador, and I understand you came here as a 14-year-old. I remember, like, from El Salvador to Guatemala, we walked the bridge, and then we took a bus to go to Guatemala City. Uh -huh. But in Guatemala, we have to take, there, was, there is a river from Guatemala to Mexico, and we took like a little boat. Was it scary to do all of that as a 14-year-old? Were you scared doing that? Yeah, especially the last part, coming to the United States and crossing the mountains. That was really, really, I was really scary because I was not expecting that. So what inspired you now to start writing children's books about children going through the immigration process? Yeah, I am also an elementary teacher, and, I, and my, all my students are from uh, Latin America, and most of their parents are immigrants. Most of the children also are immigrants. Some, some were born here in the United States, but still they had that feeling of, of separation, that feeling of uh, they feel that something bad can happen to their parents. And also, uh, I am an immigrant myself, so writing about uh, immigrant children, I also writing about my own experience. You wrote a book, uh, From North to South, about a mom who gets deported. Tell me how you were able to write that. Was that hard to write? I had a girl named Berenice in, in, in kindergarten, and one day she was crying because uh, her father was deported to Mexico. So I decided to write a book to Berenice and to all those children who who were in that experience. And this is what I brought Rene, uh, from north to south. So in this story, Jose, he meets his mom, and it's everything about separation. And the, the, the book starts when the mother is deported. Uh, and the book ends when Jose uh, has a dream that the, one day the mom will be come together. What I'm, I'm telling the children is uh, maybe at this time, they are not together, but, but there is hope in the future. Some of the kids in your classroom or have gone through your classes in the past several years, have your books or your experiences been able to help them? Yes, I have received some, not only for my students, but especially from, from North to South, I have received so many letters from parents who are away from, uh, from their children and from children who are away from their parents too. You've experienced this as a 14-year-old, so you know what it's like to cross the border with a parent, you lived it. Yeah, it is really tough because when you leave your country, uh, like for especially I live in, when I left El Salvador, it's very far away. And in your mind, you have a goal, Tijuana. Oh, because that's what my father told me. When we get to Tijuana, we are very close to, say, to, to Los Angeles, to California. So through that journey, it's like that you are running a marathon and you're hoping to go to that finish line. And when you're finally there and you're celebrating, yeah, I made it, right. they, they take you away. No, they, uh, uh, they take you away from that. And, and that, 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 that's the feeling now when you finally made it, when you feel like I, I am finally here, you get cut by immigration, and then it is a new nightmare. So tell me about some of your well-known books here. This uh, my shoes and I, and this is my real journey, because I received a brand new shoe from my mom for Christmas to come to the United States. And in, this actually is my book, I uh, live in El Salvador, and then crossing uh, Guatemala, and then finally Mexico. And this is your entire story. On the, new uh, this, on the new shoes your mother bought you for the journey. Uh -huh, yeah, this is my father and I. So this is actually my, my own story, crossing the mountains and, uh, and the river. Is this a book for what age group? This is for elementary children. Uh, uh, they can read this book by level, by second grade, 
So now you have a, you have another book. Uh, it's called Renee has two last names. Tell me about that book. This is my story about coming to to school for the first time. But in this book, Renee, uh, we present a family thing uh, to the class, and then they will tell they, tell everyone how important it is to have two last names. One of my most popular book is The Tooth Fairy Meets the Raton Perez. The Tooth Fairy Me Too? The Raton Perez. Uh -huh. Because in Raton Perez, in Latin America, we don't have a tooth fairy, but we have a mouse. The I mouse see. is our tooth fairy. It's the Raton Perez. You came from a war-torn country. You, you crossed over several countries to make it to America as a 14-year-old. Uh, you have ultimately got your green card and you're a citizen. You're contributing to the culture and the well-being of the United States of America. Tell me if, if you're, you, you feel you've reached your American dream. Uh, personally, I have accomplished my American dream. As a child, I wanted to be a teacher. That was my main dream. And, uh, I am a teacher. And also my other dream was to become a writer, to publish my my own books, and I am also doing that. My books are everywhere on the internet, uh, Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble, and also you can get my books to, to my publishers. They are also uh, uh, online. And, and I wish like uh, for the future, for those children who are crossing the border, for those children who are here, that there will be the same opportunities for them. Renee, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming on. Your books are amazing. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.